country has increased testing of ICBMs and ICBM components in the first quarter of 2022 highlights the relevance of the Hwajeongri missile operating base, which we believe is designed to house future North Korean intercontinental and intermediate range ballistic missiles. Its location on the border with China would make it difficult for the United States or any other country to consider preemptive actions against that base as it might involve the security equities of China. We've seen this base under construction since at least 2003. It's part of an overall component of a dispersed, hardened ballistic missile network in North Korea. The earliest imagery shows the excavation of a underground facility, something we call a UGF, and it shows some infrastructure and it shows the housing for the workers. Subsequent imagery shows the development of the infrastructure in the camp, but more importantly, it shows the construction of what we call two hardened drive-through missile checkout bunkers and a second UGF underground facility. This is one of the few times we've actually been able to watch the North Korean in high resolution imagery build the hardened drive-through missile checkout bunkers. And we have great imagery of them being built, the concrete forms being placed, the walls being placed. So it's great to have that high resolution and it gives us a sense of timing of how long it takes them. The most recent imagery shows that the facility is essentially complete from an infrastructure standpoint. According to informed sources that we've spoken with, this will house a intercontinental ballistic missile unit, ICBM, which could reach as far as the United States. So North Korea's upsurge in testing of longer range missiles demonstrates a drive to acquire the capabilities to reach the United States with an intercontinental ballistic missile. North Korea has conducted a series of intercontinental ballistic missile launches in the first quarter of 2022, with one in mid-March that is potentially the largest liquid-propelled ICBM in the world. So we don't know whether China is aware of the placement of this base uh, near its border, but what we do know is China does not demonstrate any concern or threat with regard to North Korea's ballistic missile program. And the fact that there is a base for North Korea that could strike the United States that is rendered somewhat invulnerable to preemptive strikes is something that both advantages the North Koreans and the Chinese. What this points to is a need to include these bases in any future denuclearization negotiations between the United States and North Korea. It also speaks to the need for better missile defense cooperation among the allies, the United States, Japan, and South Korea. For more, go to beyondparallel.csis.org.